Australian icon Barry Humphreys, creator of Dame Edna, dies at 89. Australian comedian Barry Humphreys is no more. The comic genius, who was best known for his character, Dame Edna Everidge, died at the age of 89. The comedian breathed his last at St. Vincent's Hospital in Sydney, where he was undergoing treatment. As per the reports, Barry was rushed to the hospital over the complications from hip replacement surgery. In February, Humphreys suffered an injury after he fell while reaching for a book. Later, he underwent surgery at the hospital, and earlier this week, he was taken to the hospital again. Barry was best known for playing his alter egos, Dame Edna Everidge and Sir Leigh Patterson. He was completely himself until the very end, never losing his brilliant mind, his unique wit and generosity of spirit. With over 70 years on the stage, he was an entertainer to his core, touring up until the last year of his life and planning more shows that will sadly never be, his family said in a statement. They added, his audiences were precious to him, and he never took them for granted. Although he may be best remembered for his work in theater, he was a painter, author, poet, collector and lover of a RT in all its forms. He was also a loving and devoted husband, father, grandfather, friend and confidant to many. His passing leaves a void in so many lives. Soon after the news broke, tributes for Humphreys started pouring in. Comedian Ricky Gervais tweeted, Farewell, Barry Humphreys, you comedy genius. Born and raised in Melbourne, John Barry Humphreys was best known for his drag character of a suburban housewife, the character Dame Edna Everidge. The character with purple-colored hair, diamond-encrusted cat glasses and with phrases like hello possums. Edna became a huge hit in the 1970s. In his illustrious career that spanned more than six decades, Humphreys worked as an actor, director, and scriptwriter, and wrote several books, two autobiographies and plays. For his outstanding contribution to the arts, he received several big national honours in Australia and the United Kingdom. In 1982, he was honoured with Officer of the Order of Australia for Services to Theatre and in 2007 Queen Elizabeth made him the Commander of the Order of the British Empire.